Do not get to a place of saying, okay, I am good. I should feel relaxed and I should give her every single bit of me to the extreme. You're gonna set yourself up. When you get to a point of getting on your purpose and now you are actually shifting and becoming the best version of yourself, now when you start talking to a woman, you mess it all up for yourself. You mess it all up because of the fact of what? You ended up in going and simping. <laughs> baddies and my batman fellas it is your girl sana and welcome beat boss army so as you guys can tell by the title today i'm going to be telling you guys the number one way to get any woman you want okay any woman you want this is a super hack and honestly i don't even think i ever talked about this on my channel and this number one way is not the typical of you know get on your purpose do the workouts you know going to the gym things like that getting fit healthy image wise no it's none of that but those things do have to play into factor of what i'm going to say okay so if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed with that post notification make sure you are subscribed with that post notification <laughs> sometimes i just have slow moments where i repeat myself make sure you are subscribed of course make sure you check out my patreon and of course make sure you check out my second youtube channel and my other social media and so let's get into it so this is just gonna be rant time discussion discussion any discussion to think about we're gonna keep it real let's talk about real discussion let's do that okay do not let this fly over your head okay and listen to me hear me out watch a whole video because you will understand why this is literally the top way you can get any woman you want the number one way to get any woman you want is making her having her want you more than you want her number one way now a lot of times i have fellas asking me questions because they already talked to a woman right now i know there's going to be guys watching this video that haven't even gotten the chance but they're trying to talk to a woman for those guys you're going to have to do some initiation you're going to have to shoot your shot or you're going to have to approach her and then if that doesn't work you're probably going to have to take the route of going ahead and getting on your purpose and trying to grind and hustle and then having women wanting you now because they're hypergamous like that's probably what's going to happen with most guys that don't have a chance with that woman at all now this is just the number one way in general i would like to say because of the fact that this works this can work in the beginning this can work at the end this can definitely work right in the middle it doesn't matter but fellas this is why this is the best way you can get any woman you want a lot of girls out here they do not care so much about how you look they don't care that you feel like you're ugly because even if you do look ugly to her she doesn't care most times a lot of women get with a man out here because of the fact that he has money because of the fact that she can see him as a provider or he is a provider because of the fact that he can be a father figure because of the fact that he can be alpha enough or is alpha or play that role of being the man in the household you get what i'm saying so all these things that women go for for a man is not based on how you appear it's not based on anything that you cannot actually change right and of course with going to the gym and things like that you can change and there's surgery and all these cosmetic things but i'm talking specifically something that anybody can go ahead and do but you have to be mentally ready to do it if you go out here and approach woman and she seems like she's not that interested and then you just play it off like you don't give a damn and you go ahead and follow through with your own plans follow through with whatever you have going on in your life and you actually forget about her most times women will end up approaching you or talking to you now or giving you the attention that you initially wanted what happens with so many men out here is that they have either too much confidence or cockiness and yes i say confidence but confidence does lead to cockiness could lead to arrogance right but what happens is there's too much of it going on now that there's too much going on, you go into this thinking like, I will get her somehow, or I will get her because of this. Do not believe just because of the fact that you have this specific thing that got you so many other women that it will work with this woman. And I've said something along those lines before, okay? So when you are going out into the real world, all it takes is for a girl to give you some sort of attention. Even if it means that she says, mm, I'm not interested. 
You get what I'm saying? But you have to do the background work. And the background work is getting on your purpose. The background work is actually going to get fit and get healthy mentally and physically. The background work is work. It's actual work. But if you're not willing to put it in, why do you think you're going to get any women you want? So back to what I was saying, as far as a woman wanting you more than you want her, there's plenty of stories out here, even personal life, even my girls, that girls out here meet men and either the men comes off too strong and it's just like, okay, I'm going to put you away because you think you have it all going on or it's going to be a, you're so insecure or you're so soft or you're simp that... How can I even want to do something with you? How can I even want to pursue you or be with you? How? I can't, right? Like, it's almost like man up. So what happens as part of manning up, becoming alpha, is you say, okay, cool. That's how you feel? That's how you feel, right? If a girl is acting some sort of way, if she's acting like she's not feeling you or she just does not feel you, you're not supposed to care. Why should you care? You're not supposed to give a single damn. And that's why a lot of women will get in their feelings. That's why a lot of women will go and try to get that attention from you. And I won't mention it in this video, but you guys already know what I would say about attention. If you know, comment it down below. You guys already know a woman. Yeah, yeah. But as I was saying, you guys, if you meet a woman and she did whatever, either it went bad or good. If you lay back, what happens is now she's just chilling or now she's like, okay, let me try him out. If you cave in, and this is the thing about this number one reason, if you cave in, if you fall into the trap, if you say, okay, oh my gosh, she's giving me the attention. If she's telling me, oh, let's link up or if she's inviting me over, oh, you scored, you think. A lot of folks think they already scored. How can you score if you haven't reached any further to pass the touch line? You can't score when you are not moving any little bit. You get what I'm saying? So you guys have to look at it as a battlefield, whether if it's actual battlefield or if it's a basketball court, whatever it is, you are here. The end goal is to score. You cannot score if you are not doing anything to get to the net or to get to the end of the field. You can't. You cannot. It's impossible. You have to put in some sort of work. You have to go and practice something. You have, and practicing is simply like going to put in work in the gym, going to put in work reading, you know, writing down things, knowledge, watching videos. You get what I'm saying? That is putting in work. So when you put in work on yourself, your work will play off in real life with women. It will pay off. After playing off, it will pay off. And you will take that W instead of taking L's like you always do. Get what I'm saying? So you guys are here. And then when you get to this point, and sometimes guys can't finish scoring because they cave in. It's a test for a lot of these women. They're testing you. Once they give you the little bit of attention, or once they're acting or treating you away, it's all trying to do it in their control in their favor so it works out for them when you are here you're trying to get to the part where you can score you cannot get distracted you cannot be like oh my gosh oh she's giving me attention oh my gosh she's so into me oh wow she she seems like she she's all about me now no who gives a damn how she feels you get what i'm saying who gives a damn you are not supposed to give a damn. So now that you see that she's saying, okay, come through or text you a little bit or is still following you or is still watching you, you have a chance. And I keep, keep telling you guys this, but I can't stress it enough. You always have a chance till you really, really, really blow it. You get what I'm saying? So you guys are here. Do not cave in, like I said, but what you have to do is you say, okay, she gave me a chance, but I still got better things to worry about. I still have to stay in the gym. I still got to watch my documentary so I can learn about this stuff. I have to keep growing. I need to keep growing and I will continue to keep growing. Instead of trying to grow with the woman, when she gives you this indication that you think in your head, being like, this is something that's telling me, go ahead. No, what you do is take it and it's a red light. Actually, it's a stop. Okay. You got her attention now. What do you have to do with the attention? You do not care for it. You have to stay doing the same thing. And if you weren't doing the right things as far as growing, getting on your purpose, then you are on the wrong track. And that's probably why you're already failing with so much woman. So fellas, please get on the right track. Honestly, I never talked about it. I never really thought about it, but there's a lot of guys that are scared of being an alpha without even knowing because they are not capable of putting in the work that alphas do. It's not just because some women may scare them and they're intimidated by them. 
is because of the fact that you don't want to go ahead and put in that work and that's facts and i have a video talking about that but i'm not going to talk too much about it but i'm telling you guys to keep it real being an alpha is not impossible being a feminine female is not impossible as well right if i wanted to be so masculine or if somebody feels like i'm so masculine and in my head i'm thinking like let me just be so feminine okay i'll go do that you get what i'm saying or if i'm so feminine and somebody actually doesn't like that and they want a real real alpha woman i can go do that you get what i'm saying and there are specific types of types of people out here that people go for it's all about aligning things and making things happen. So with this number one tip that I'm giving you guys, it's about you setting the trap for her instead of her setting the trap for you. That little indication, that little hint that, okay, go ahead, fall for me. I know you will fall for me. But what you are supposed to do in that case is switch the role and fall back. And when you fall back, ah, the birds are singing in my ear. She's going to come running to you. She's going to come chasing for you you guys it works every time and i'm telling you it's the excitement it's the oh my gosh i got her locked or i have this all figured out this is the girl it's all of that that's letting you guys fail before even winning with women if you feel like okay i'm over here doing so much and i love her more than she loves me you're already gonna be probably not getting far with her you're probably gonna end up getting into that situation where you're feeling like damn I messed up or damn I fell for her way too hard and she didn't even love me this whole time or she fell out of love with me and that's what can simply happen but the same way women can fall in love with you because you are not paying attention to them you are not doing anything and this is more of low quality women you guys before you get it twisted we are not talking about girls out here and I know a lot of you guys don't believe in it but I'm telling you guys if you don't believe in it then you probably aren't alpha enough to believe in it. You get what I'm saying? Because you have to know 100%, nobody can ever debate this, is that the same way there's good in a female, there's the same way there's good in a man. There's girls for the streets, is the exact same way that there is guys that will dog woman, there's guys that are dusty, bummy, and they will go ahead and finesse, take money from a woman and use a woman, dry her up, dry her bank account. You guys never heard of guys ruining these girls' credit cards? You guys never heard of that? So the same way it plays hand in hand is the same way it plays hand in hand. Okay, it goes this way with women, goes that way with men. You will find it in both sex 100% right but it's about learning the game and understanding how it's gonna work in your favor if you just get her a little close some of you guys are trying to get her so close to you so in you don't have to get her so in all it takes is just a little bit once you just get that little little bit from her the little indication you guys you are good to go and when you go you go the opposite way and that's when she starts going that way not the opposite way I'm telling you with women, opposites only attract when they're both high quality. That's the only time. But other than that, when you are dealing with somebody that has a low vibration, low qualities, opposites will not attract. What will happen is you will be the person that she has to follow. That's what happens with women that you guys are most likely dealing with that are giving you a hard time and that are probably using you at this point. Because I'm telling you, most times high quality women, they don't even have time to play with a man. When she's telling you that she wants you, she doesn't actually want you yet. That's how you have to think about it. When she's telling you that you have a chance, you don't have a chance yet. But what you do is play the opposite of what she's saying and then you will get the results that you actually want from her, fellas, 100%. So please, to wrap all this up, if you want a woman, you have to, have to, have to make sure she loves you more than you love her. And there's so many different ways to do it. Obviously, I can do a part two. Let me know if you want to see that. But there's just so many ways I can explain this. But this is one of the key things that if you have this happen, you have her locked in, you have her trapped in, okay? So I really hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on my social media. Make sure you check out my Patreon. And you guys will see me in my next video. Bye, guys. And don't forget my second YouTube channel. Bye, guys. <laughs>